Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a gold rush. I have made this on the channel once before, very long time ago, I think it was about three and a half years ago. On the channel, it doesn't really have many views and it's a great drink and it's a simple drink. It's three ingredients, nice and easy for you guys to make at home. Therefore, I wanted to do it again to make sure it gets the recognition that it deserves. It's a, it's a riff on a, a bee's knees. It's got lemon juice and honey. And instead of using the gin from the bee's knees, it's with bourbon. So bourbon works really well with honey. Um, if you don't have a bourbon, if you've got a rye, or even if you've got a scotch, uh, like a smoky scotch whiskey will go really, really well with the honey and the lemon. Uh, kind of like penicillin-esque. I'll leave a link to the penicillin recipe up here so you can check that out if you aren't familiar with that one. Uh, nice and simple. So this one was, uh, they say first created uh, at Milk and Honey back in like 2000 or 2001. So, which is a New York City bar. Um, but I find it hard to believe that someone didn't make it prior to this. It's probably just when it became more well known. 60 mil, two ounces of your preferred bourbon. If you like, you can go something a little bit more higher proof. And then 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. Now, some of the recipes that I have seen, well, most of the recipes that I've seen, call for equal parts lemon juice and the honey syrup. And the honey syrup is one to one. So one part water to one part honey. But I don't think the, the there's enough sweetness. Maybe it's just this honey that I'm using, or I personally like it a little bit sweeter. Uh, I feel like there's enough, not enough honey flavor and not enough sweetness when you only do 22.5 mil or three quarter ounce. So I'm increasing this to 30 mil one ounce. But of course, if you're using a two to one or a three to one honey syrup, then you're probably gonna use less and you'll get more of that honey flavor come across. Fill that Boston glass with, with some ice, give it a shake, and that's it. And a single crystal clear ice cube, or you can just use whatever ice you have, honestly. Um, the reason I'm using this, I, I, actually, I actually used to sell these ice molds uh, going back about 12, 18 months ago on my website. They were super popular and they're, they're really cool. Um, I don't have them available in Australia anymore, but I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you are in the States, you can purchase one if you want. It's essentially, um, it makes these two giant ice cubes or spheres and it uses directional freezing. So this is all insulated around the outside, freeze it from the top to the bottom, and hence makes these really nice crystal clear cubes. Um, and they look really good. Leave it in the freezer for 24 hours and you got these two perfect cubes and they last a couple of drinks as well. Strain over the top. Can leave ungarnished or that twist of lemon. There you have a gold rush. Cheers. Considering that it's got two shots of bourbon in it, doesn't taste like that at all. Um, I do like the, the honey notes aren't overpowering. Honey can easily, uh, especially with only three ingredients, if that was the same volume, but like a three to one honey syrup, it would just take over. Uh, but you get these like nice layers, you get the, the citrus, the bourbon, and then you get this aftertaste of honey and it works really well. Um, great cocktail, super simple. So hopefully you've got a bottle of bourbon, some citrus and some honey at home. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.